Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the long dark. So we went ahead and took shelter in this uh, fishing shed hut village for the night. And um, now we need to make sure that we eat something, drink something, so that we'll uh, mostly stop complaining about it. Um, food. Let's see, what do we got? We got a zap energy bar here, which has a decent amount of calories. And then I think we'll eat this banged up pork and beans. We could heat it up, but I don't think I really have that much uh, firewood on me, so. There we go. All good. I think I will make sure that I drop the can, though. Um, yeah, I have a fair number of cans on me, so let's actually come over here and drop the cans. So drop and drop. All right, so you'll notice that I've gone ahead and put down um, these uh, guts because they need to cure. And I also went ahead and put down this uh, extra storm lantern that we have here. So I'm going to end up coming, uh, circling back to here, probably, um, for this stuff. But right now I'd like to go outside and see kind of, you know, get a lay of what's going on outside. We've got a wolf outside. We did last night anyway. Um, but we also have a crafting bench here, which I wanted to check out. So we've got a hunting knife, that's nice. Some revolver ammunition. And some fishing tackle. Well, some bandages. So I want to go ahead and make some more fishing tackle. Fishing tackle should be in here somewhere. Here we go. Begin crafting. I want to do this because I want to go ahead and get some fishing done today. If at all possible. So there we go. Got some fishing tackle. Um, we know there's a shed over there with a door on it, and I think that's probably going to be a really good place to start our fishing um, experiment for the day. I also need to go check out what's going on with the birds. So I think that I'm going to go ahead and make sure I just, I'm going to stick some things here in this locker that I don't need to take with me right now. Um, just like I have a whole bunch of cloth, um, from breaking down some things and some from cured leather from breaking down some things that I don't really need to carry with me as I go off on this uh, fishing adventure here. So let's see, what other stuff do we have here? Um, so I'll put the plaid shirt in here. Um, I did change some of my clothes yesterday, but I think that we can worry about going through the other clothes later. Putting this in here. We'll put the revolver ammunition in here as well. Let's see. Carrying around those stones in hopes that one day I will find a rabbit to hunt. And we'll put the jerry can in here as well because I don't need to be carrying around quite that much. All right, everything else is pretty light, and so that leaves us with uh. Yeah, we've got some sticks on us, some firewood, all the good things. Let's go ahead and see, you know, break down this, uh, let's find a log to break down maybe for our fishing expedition. And I'm not really sure we're even going to need it because I'm not really sure how cold it is. Oh, if you look, it's, it's kind of cold. It's decently cold out here. It's not freezing, but it's also not like the warmest thing ever. We can break these down and get a ton of reclaimed wood. Might do that for a second. I lost uh, half my total warmth, but eh, we're okay. All right, I'm going to walk down this dock and see if I can get to the source of the birds without uh, attracting the wolf. <laughs> and off and running. We still, of course, need to explore the rest of the coastline. There's a whole lot of coastline to explore. Um, and then we'll need to, you know, cross the lake and then we need to go up the hill. I feel like uh, we might be here for quite a while. Where are the birds? Like, I see the shadows of the birds. There they are. I'm just blind, apparently. So apparently I need to be more careful walking off the edges of things. Oh, it's a, it's a person. Oh god! Okay, okay, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I hear it. It obviously sees me. Or hears me. It smells my fear. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Quite calm down. Okay, yeah. It's on the ledge there. Hopefully it'll find the same difficulty that I found with walking up the ledge. 
maybe. I could, I could light a flare. Oh my god, 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> Make really girly sounds. Okay, you know what? We're gonna just fight. We're gonna fight this thing. We're gonna fight it. We're gonna fight it. Uh, I don't know why it took so long to choose a knife, but we chose a knife. Oh man, that didn't that didn't go half as well as I was expecting it to. Gotta stop the bleeding before it gets okay, worse. Okay, we're gonna stop the bleeding. We've got this. No, no big deal. Uh, person, uh, we need to stop blood loss. So, uh, inventory, uh, medical koi. Uh, use. Can I, you please use this? Yep, blood loss. We're all, we're totally taken care of. And then we've got antibiotics. Those are painkillers. We we'll go antibiotics for the infection. Why didn't that work? It didn't. It didn't work. Why didn't it work? Uh, was I wrong? Was I infection risk? Because I need to use in disinfectant on a infection risk. I'm dumb. Nobody judge me. Okay. Here we go. All right. Hey, man. You know what? We're totally fine. Uh, our clothes are probably a bit damaged, but uh, oh. oh, the blood is gone. Well, like, I was gonna track down the, the blood and see if we'd killed it, and then we could go harvest it, uh, but the blood is gone. I wasn't sitting there that long. Whatever. Oh, there's another knife here. All the knives you could ever need. That wasn't so scary, was it? Nope, we survived just fine. These are feathers. I wasn't sure what they were at first, but they are feathers. <laughs> we're gonna go fishing now. And then we might, you know, we might wander off towards that, that mountain, because why not? Blood. 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 We're gonna follow the blood. Follow the blood. Uh, eventually it should lead us to the, the body of the wolf, if we did enough damage to the wolf. And then we can harvest it before it freezes. And then we can chomp 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 on the wolf. Because that's what you do. You chomp 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 on wolves after you stab them. Lots. Okay. Nice. Uh, blood trail going this way. Going this way. I like... Didn't expect to have to follow it into the abyss here. Okay, we'll come right back. Don't go anywhere, blood trail. I just want to make sure that we check everything out. Since we're right here anyway. Uh, a, a flare! Okay, great. Okay, bye. Blood trail. Oh my goodness. I didn't expect this wolf to, like, run, you know, a marathon. And walking around on the ice, I think that you get- you get cold. Is that it there? Is that the body of a wolf? It is! Okay, we found it. And we haven't been eaten by another wolf yet. So, perfect! Perfection! We found the wolf, we survived, everything is so good. I'm so happy with my life right now. Yay, guys! Okay, great. Um... We'll just harvest all of this. Ooh, eight pounds of meat. Holy cow. Um, let's do this. That's one hour and 21 minutes, two hours. Uh, how is our temperature going to do? Fine. Just fine. Because it's really not that cold out. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so yeah, now we have a sprain risk because we're, like, carrying 20,000 pounds of meat. Which we should probably go back to the, uh, hut over here. And oh, drop. Starving. Apparently I'm starving. Because I took so long to harvest the, uh... The, uh... Everything. Honestly, just everything now just took a lot longer than it really needed to. But, hey, you know what? What is over there? What is over there? Let's go check it out. Did I not see these birds on my way over? I guess not. Or maybe I did and I was like, mm, wolves. <laughs> That's my typical reaction. Mm, I don't like wolves. They're scary, okay? Alrighty. Um, picking up the feather. Hello, sir. Nothing. I'm real sorry about uh, 
I mean, that's kind of a terrible place to die. I feel like he was there trying to take shelter, and that's how he ended up dying. Which is a sad story. Okay, we're gonna go fishing, okay? That's what we're doing. That's what our original goal for the day was, and now we're going to do it. Fishing, fishing, fishing. We're gonna kind of trot over to- here we go, perfect, sweet. Um, well I was gonna start a fire, but I don't think I'm going to now because, I mean, why would I? Well, we could cook though, we could cook that meat, so let's go ahead and start fire, and we'll cook that meat since- we now have a ton of meat! Yay! And we have to cook it to eat it, so. I think potbelly stoves, though, only have, like, one cooking slot. Eh. Sorry. Come on, little fire. I could eat a horse. I could apparently eat a horse. I'm not really feeling that I need to eat a oh, horse, yeah. but, you know. Oh, Alright, add a bunch. We'll add a whole heap ton of this. And we'll go cook. And... We'll just start with the very first part. Select. That'll be done in an hour. Okay, we will break open the ice hole. I'm going to probably need to um, eat something. Alright, we have 27 minutes. I didn't realize this was going to take uh, a half hour to break open the ice hole. Like, dang. Can we please eat something quick? Did I scroll right past food? I did. Here, eat this jerky and quit complaining. And drink some water. I'm apparently running low on water. Not a huge deal. Alright, 22 minutes. Hours to fish. Um, can we just uh, pass time until ready? Thank you. Take it. It's 1% frozen. Cook. Apparently I can't do both of these things at the same time. Select. One hour and nine minutes. Break ice. Start fishing. Fishing for a whole whopping hour. Oh, we found a rainbow trout. We're tired. Yay! Seven minutes until this one's ready. Three hours left of... Firewood. Okay, we'll pass time and ready. Okay, we'll take this. And then we'll cook. We will cook this next bit. Select one hour and nine minutes. So we will start fishing again for oh, another I'm hour. Starving. I'm starving. Like it's just like uh didn't find anything. Oh, fishing hole cleared. Apparently you can't. Uh... It says cleared. Does that mean there's nothing else to fish in here? I don't know. We'll eat this one. So they'll stop yelling at me about being hungry. How are we? One hour and 51 minutes. Cook. So much will select. So 57 minutes. Um, break ice. If I start fishing again, I don't know. Oh, no, see, definitely still finding things. Affliction, sprain, risk. All right, so we're taking that. Let's go ahead and add fuel. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, all right. And let's cook. What do we have left here? We have the trout to cook, so start fishing. I don't know if we're gonna burn that trout <sighs> if we continue to fish here. Ah, nope. And then we will cook a next another trout. All of this cooked meat, man. I'm so happy. It's past time till that one's ready. And then cook this trout. Hey, come back here. Select. So 28 minutes. Um, and then I think I'll make some water. Just real quick. So then we'll go cook. And I should have a recycled can in here. So select. Um, can I... Can I please go... Uh, water. Yes. 19 minutes. Oh man. Great. Take it. I need to find food. How much uh, water do I have? Not, not enough. Water. Cook. I. This is why you need a pan. You know. Drink. This is like why you need like the pots. Um, I have one back at the gas station. I just I don't have one on me. I'm getting tired. And I'm tired now, so we'll probably go back and uh, find a place to sleep after I'm done making us some water here. 
passing time. Oh, the fire burned out. Well, we'll take that. We'll pick that up. And we'll bail, then. Alright, let's head back to, uh, these hunters, or these fishers' cabins. They seem like a good place to, you know, spend another night. And all is well. We have a ton of food on us now, so that's good. Um, we should probably go, like, I feel like we should go back to the gas station and, um, store our food. But also, we've come quite a ways, and I'm like, listen, let's just explore this part here. And then we'll go back to the gas station. Which we can totally do. That's, like, that's an option. I just need to decide what I'm going to do with my life. Alrighty. There's no wolves out right now, which is fun. <laughs> Maybe I should just start traveling at night because there are no wolves. At least right this second. There are no wolves right here right this second. And that's a tiny, tiny miracle. <laughs> So many wolves, I'm so scared. Like, they just, they, uh, man, just such wolf anxiety. Alright, let's eat before bed. We'll eat another trout. And then I think we should have totally enough calories for bed. Um, okay, that's the window. Bed. And we'll go ahead and sleep, a, you know, a solid 12 hours or something. You know, whatever makes you feel bright and bushy-tailed in the morning. I wouldn't want to judge you on, like, how much sleep you do and do not need. There we go. We have survived four days and 30 minutes. Not for much longer if we don't drink something. Um, go here. Drinking. I think we're going to be out of water now. Um, I've never been so hungry in my life. I'm starving. I'm not quite out of water. This is 500 calories. Honestly, um... There's really not a lot of calories here. Considering how hungry I let myself get, so that's not good. Don't let yourself get that hungry. That's the key here. And then we'll drink a soda. Should be enough to get us, yep. And now we are half fed. Great. Uh, the sun should be coming up any second now. Let's light this, uh, lantern. Perfect. Okay, let's put this lantern down here. And let's see what we've got going on here. We've eaten most of the meat that we collected. Um, and then we've got this that we can drop. And it will start curing as well. Because all of this good stuff. This stuff's, like, curing rather quickly, honestly. That makes me happy. And we'll drop all this fresh gut to cure as well. Yay! Um, does any of our tools here need immediate repair. Our hatchet could use some repairing. It's at 69%. So let's go action, sharpen, sharpening. And we've got some time before the sun is up enough where I feel like it's good to go outside. Actions, sharpen. Good, good. Um, it's not making a lot of progress, but it's at 75% now. Are any of our clothes damaged? Oh, this one is. Let's grab some of the... Oh, let's pick this up and make sure that we extinguish it. Um, perfect. And make sure we unequip it. Let's grab some of this cloth really quick. I'd like to uh, repair my hat before we go doing anything crazy. Because we did, you know, get attacked by a wolf. And so some of our clothing is quite damaged now. So we'll go actions, repair, repair. That's kind of what happens like when you get attacked by wildlife, aka wolves. Um, you do have to deal with... Uh... Apparently it didn't transfer all of it. Transfer all. There we go. You do have to deal with um, repairing your clothing. So this is at 60%. Let's go ahead and repair this as well. Um, if you don't play, like, you know, you don't try to trigger the wolves, then you won't necessarily have to repair your stuff all the time. I've almost used this entire sewing kit, and I think we only brought one with us. And that's sun. Now we're just kind of killing time, so I'm like, hey, you know what, let's go. Let's go out and do something at this point. Nothing is below 60%. This one's exactly at 60%, but I'm feeling confident, so 
Let's stick this stuff back in here and transfer all. Let's go ahead and put the uh, knife in here. And we'll keep the um, sticks with us. Yeah, we should be okay in terms of weight. Let's go off into the out. I think I'm out of water, though, so that's something that I need to keep in mind. Um, when I make a fire next, I need to make sure that I make water. So let's go. Check some stuff out. I did some fishing there, you know. Um, I want to just continue to check out the coastline. I want to make sure that I've scouted the entire coastline. And then we'll worry about crossing the lake and going up the hill and all uh, checking out the mine. We can't forget that there's a mine. Yeah, up that hill. Check out what's up there. You know, we saw that bridge that was collapsed. We found the body underneath it. All things we're going to need to do. So yeah. Off we go to see where this road goes. It's probably going to go nowhere. Just into the next zone. I'm hungry. Again. Like, how many calories does this, this person need a day? I would like someone to tell me that. We're coming up on something here. I cannot tell what it is. A bridge? It's like a bridge. Coming up on a bridge here. The wind is, uh, quite something here. Oh, that's, uh, unfrozen water there. Interesting. So there's water that's not frozen. I didn't know that until just now. I just kind of figured that, like, everything froze over. Like, all of the, you know, seas froze over. over. I don't really know how cold it would have to be for the sea to freeze over. Like, the whole ocean. Obviously, humans probably couldn't survive. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's check out this car, as we do, you know? This is a nice little place to get out of the wind. Break for lunch if you need it, you know? I think I can use this. Painkillers, yay! Uh, pry bar that I'm probably not going to take. Let's read this. Wes, I'm going to try to make it to Mystery Lake. I'm running low on everything, but we can find enough to get us through till spring, and then we can try to make it back to Calgary. Meet me there. We'll stay for a while, follow the tracks in from the Carter. You'll see the lodge building, but we'll make for the cabins across the lake. Bring anybody you can find, bring food, and a deck of cards. See you soon, Heather. Um, we'll take that. I don't think, I don't think he made it. And I'm sorry to tell you that. So we're gonna leave the pry bar, okay? I don't need another pry bar. <laughs> Hope nobody needs this anymore. Great. And then we're thirsty, so let's see about drinking the last of our water. And we'll also drink a soda, since we're complaining about hunger anyway. And there's that's, you know, some calories. Alright, let's pop out of here. So I wonder if there's really anything interesting down this. Oh my gosh. There's a bear. There's a bear. Panic, 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 panic on every, every level. First I didn't recognize the sound. It sounded like grating seal. And I was like, is this bridge collapsing on me? But that was a bear. Um, and I literally just hadn't uh, had a heart attack. Um, well, so we found a bear. And um, that's not good for us. I don't think bears are afraid of flares. But you know who's afraid of bears? Koi. Koi is afraid of bears. Koi doesn't like bears. I don't have to deal with a bear. Oh my gosh, there's a bear outside. Guys, I don't have a rifle. I don't have anything. All right. <sighs> okay. Where is the bear? I didn't actually see it. Was it down in the valley? That was definitely a bear, wasn't it? There's a rabbit down there. There's definitely a bear. I can't see it, though. I can hear it. I just- I can't see it. Do you see this stupid bear? Oh my gosh. Stupid, stupid bear. Okay. Alright. I need to, like, locate where the bear is visually. <laughs> if I can see the bear, the bear can see me. If 
but I do need to find out where this bear is. Okay, I regret needing to locate the bear. <laughs> By the way, that will be my genuine reaction, and it has been my genuine reaction when encountering bears in real life. That's not true. The only bear that I've come in close enough contact to have any kind of fear reaction, I just kind of, like, you know, did what you do. You make yourself big and you try to be like, okay, I am big and scary. And like, honestly, the bear just kind of looked at me like, what's your beef? And just kind of kept on his way. Or her way, I don't know. Whew. All right, well, I'm going to live in this car now. So that's that. Um, we're going to just live in this car forever. All right, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to hit like if you like. Subscribe if you're not already. I, up I upload new episodes every day. Okay, thanks. Bye.